tail of the tape now, and uh, Vladimir Klitschko, like his brother, is representative of the new wave of physicality in the heavyweight division. Listed here at 6'5". In some quarters, you'll see his height listed at 6'7". He has a two and a half inch reach advantage over Bastis. Both fighters weigh over 230 pounds, which now is a qualification for being near the pinnacle of the division. Rules of the bout with the unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. So Vladimir Klitschko, David Bastis fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no standing aid count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. All right, Harold, let's go up to ring announcer Michael Buffer to get the evening started in the ring. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to Madison Square Garden, New York City, where tonight, Panics of the USA, Main events and your undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser, proud to be your bud. Present an evening of professional boxing for your entertainment. All the bouts are sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission. Chairman Mel Southard, Commissioners Mark Kornstein and Rose Trentman. Special Assistant to the Chairman, Jim Posanello. Executive Director, Tony Russo. Director of Boxing, Bob Duffy. Chief Physician, Dr. Billy Lathan. Medical Director, Dr. Robin Scarlatta. Ringside physicians are Drs. Stephen Marks, Gerard Barlotta, and Michael Fiorelli. Timekeeper at the bell, Jim Barzell, and the alternate referees will be counting for the knockdowns for all the bouts tonight. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds, and it's for the WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. The three judges assigned to ringside, scoring the bout on a 10-point must system will be Tony Paolillo. Luis Rivera and Sid Rubenstein. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Joe Santarpia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He comes to us from Mesa, Arizona, with a professional record of 22 victories with only one loss and one draw, 12 KOs to his credit. He weighed in at 230 pounds, wearing the green trunks. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger. David, the boss, boss, this. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, trimmed with white, weighing in at 242 and one half pounds. His professional record, an outstanding 32 victories with 30 KOs and only one loss. And he has captured three international titles, including the WBC Intercontinental title, and he's the reigning European champion. Ladies and gentlemen, from Kiev in the Ukraine, here is the reigning WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Vladimir Klitschko. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. I want a good, clean fight. Are there any questions? Shake hands now, and God bless you both. This is uh, Vladimir Klitschko's ninth fight since he lost to Ross Purity, a smart, tough journeyman from Oklahoma, when he just ran out of gas. He didn't know how to pace himself, had never gone beyond six rounds. That was not the same scenario as his brother quitting, although he feels that he's been stained by what happened in Berlin a few weeks ago. And incidentally, the tale of the tape listed the two fighters at equal heights when they stood together in the center of the ring. It became clear Klitschko is taller than Bastis by an inch or two. Both fighters are using the circle of motion around the ring. One is backing up, but he's doing it in a circle of fashion. That's the way you want to do with a puncher. Don't go straight back. Bastis' trainer, Chuck McGregor, who has been in the ring against both Klitschko's, Vladimir and Vitali, insists that neither Klitschko brother can fight well going backward. So he urged Bastis to find a way to back Vladimir up, just as at some moments in Berlin four weeks ago, Chris Bird was able to black back Vitali up. So far in the early going, though, it's been Vladimir who's had the initiative with his jab. Now there's a left hook to the middle of the chest by Bastis, and Vladimir comes back to stick the jab into his face. It's obvious that Vladimir has a better use of the left jab. Both are throwing him, but one has power, 
and he has intentions of going over on top with a right hand. Bostas is careful, which he should be. Already it's very evident, clear, that Vladimir is a much smoother, better coordinated athlete than his brother. And he gets in a left hook, Three, and down goes four, Bostas with a look five, of surprise on his six, face. Seven, eight, you okay? He was down twice against Israel Cole in his only loss. Those were the only two previous knockdowns for David Bostas. So a moment of surprise for him. And Klitschko didn't even seem to be putting full mustard on the left hook that put him down. No, he just caught him right on the side of the head. Where yeah, he had been throwing nothing but jabs, and he caught him by surprise with that little left hook, I thought, George. There he throws it again. You see, he takes a better right hand than the left, hit him on the left side, right side of the face, and he goes down. Because well, that's a harder punch to see, the, the left hook. That's oh, why just a certain fighter's got weak. Oh, he hurt him again with the left hook. Now Bostas attacks right, coming off the ropes. Right. Trying to buy some time. Right, hey, so you got to zero in on weaknesses on boxes. You can hit some guys on the chin all night. Nothing happens. But you raise it up a little bit on the top of the head, and you'll drop it. There it is again. See that? Hurts him again with the left hook. See, I've always thought the left hook is the most. This potent. could be a first round KO as Vladimir steps in and unloads against Bostas. He can't be saved by the bell. Goes down. The second time. Three. Count continues Four. now beyond the bell. Five. And Bops is trying to make it seven, up. Eight. We'll beat the count and make it to the second round, but plenty the worse for wear after some okay. accurate short sure? left hooks by Vladimir Klitschko. Continue. Hey man, with you, you all right? I'm cool. You sure? Sure. David. What? I'm sure. David. You're dropping your hands. You gotta keep your head moving. Look at me. You're dropping your hands and pulling back. Where did we not want to go? Keep your hands up and your chin down and give me head movement. You wanna fight, man? Yes! Okay. Give me head no. movement. Just relax. Just look at me. Stick with me. After throwing jabs for two minutes, that little left hook that Bastis never saw put him down. And Vladimir Klitschko tried to exploit it for the last 30 seconds of the round. Three times in the first round, Klitschko hurt Bostas, all three with the left hook, right, pointing up right, towards on, Foreman's right. point about find the right target and then go after it. See, he lands a big right hand there, and Bostas isn't as effective. Yeah, certain fighters, you got to look around and scout them and see who hurt, who, when, and where. Klitschko has just got to jab, jab, and look for good left hooks. Well, by CompuBox numbers in the first round, he landed 26 of 38 jabs. Obviously, that makes it harder to deal with his power punches, too. And Big David has just got to throw a lot of punches. As soon as he throws punches, Klitschko backs away. And stops punching. Yeah, so keep throwing shots. You don't have to be accurate. Make him back away. And you heard David adamantly telling his corner he wants to fight. Get back. Come on, but his head Break. and legs Break. still somewhat missing as he makes it to the second minute of round two and takes another big right hand and goes down for the third time. Four. David Bostas Five. is outgunned against Six. Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, he says this isn't Eight. like an alley fight. You're this right. is worse for well, him. This is when your corner should come to your rescue now. He's been outgunned on both sides of the head now. Should be enough. Let's see if Joe, yeah, and Joe Santarpia totally agrees. And that's the end of the fight on the fourth knockdown as Vladimir Klitschko rescues a portion of the family honor four weeks after his brother's embarrassment in Berlin with a resoundingly successful trip to Madison Square Garden.